So recently I've been trying out this new terminal in town called Ghosty and you can see it on screen right now. So apparently this is a very future rich terminal and my opinion on that is this is just a version of the GNOME terminal with some better colors and this really cool window manager feature. So I'll tell you all about it right now. Okay, so this window manager feature that I'm talking about is this. And as you can see, I am splitting this window to different different pieces. And I think that is really cool. So you don't get this with a lot of the other terminals out there. And pretty much everything else is just GNOME terminal stuff. All of this is something that you can see in GNOME terminal. And that's understandable because Ghosty is a GTK application. GTK is GNOME territory stuff. Also, I've been trying out Fedora and I love Fedora. I think it's such a great distro. And we have GNOME over here with my Mac OS recreation kind of stuff. And so, Ghosty, I think it's just GNOME Terminal. I don't really see any special features here. I'm pretty sure this supports like uh, GPU acceleration and all of that. That's cool. Sure, GNOME Terminal doesn't have that or maybe it does. So let's just open GNOME Terminal and see our comparison right here. So let's start with the top bar. So as you can see, we've got our window decorations on both terminals you got a plus icon which opens a new tab same here we have window titles and an overview button that toggles this overview it's like copy and paste so they do have some cooler colors as you can see if I run fast fetch in boosty and fast fetch in regular terminal gnome terminal you can see that there is a clear difference in the colors right here so you can see and that's pretty cool I like having these colors and other than that not many differences so this is my quick uh, review of ghosty terminal if you even call this a review and as you can see this is still in development so a lot of features are coming soon this just released to the public and a lot of youtubers and stuff are going crazy over it and I have no idea why and so it has this configuration thing that I really like so if you open the configuration it's, you can do like this or you could just do it with your text editor and open dot config slash ghosty slash config it's really easy you just type in a value no a key and then a value so if I do background equals this is going to blow your eyes quite literally look at that noise okay let's just change this to something better there we go and I don't know why the font family is not working but it's not working and it has the reload configuration thing nice so my review over this is a 4.5 out of 5 it's not good not bad it's just a standard terminal so thanks for watching and uh, that's it